do they go for the three? Mobley on Looney. They're looking for Mitchell. Mitchell's got it now. Shot clock at 13. Play staying with a very tough three. Is offline. Wiggins the rebound. Wiggins is fouled. Now that's the. They'll foul Steph here, and it's a free throw game now. Wiggins. Make no mistake about it. Oh, he missed the free throw. Take it five. And he does. So the Cavs need a three and a two. There's no foul. Down to 14 seconds. And Mitchell just lost it out of bounds. And, he, uh, and they're going to call a foul on Draymond. I think he turned his ankle or something's not right. This is going to be free throws for Donovan Mitchell. And I think Steve Kerr is going to use the challenge because he gets a free timeout with it anyway. One, Draymond just happens to be in the vicinity. And and right. Yeah, there's an ankle turn there as he's trying right to as turn he goes corner. down. We have another angle that shows that Draymond's contact is beyond incidental here. There's always. In Official at half court blew it. At half court on the other side. Put in, but he got it in. Well, they got it into Steph right away. And, and led 95 87. Now, Steph misses a free throw. Got timeouts. It's a two position. Don't foul a three point shooter. Mobley's got it. Garland for three. Play didn't catch the ball. So it'll be 7.3 left. Ah, oh, Clay, beautiful. He played outside in, outside the three-point line, came out with a steal. He made it and played so well. One way for team morale, what they overcame, us against the world. They missed, they missed a couple free throws. It's not going to cost them. And the Warriors come from 11 down to win at 106. They take away the lob, but by taking away the lob... Tap available. Beal wins the tap. Green was looking to throw it back, and Beal stole the tap. There's about a five-second different shot clock and game clock, so they don't have to foul. Booker. Curry picks him up four to shoot. Grayson Allen. Somebody's got to shoot it. Gordon throws it back up top. Beal just gets it off in time. Side of the rim. Curry the rebound. Final seconds. And a timeout call by Steve Kerr with 2.8 remaining. Now the key here, did they call a timeout before he put it on the floor and advanced the ball? Because if that's the case, he advanced the ball, it'll be in the backcourt. The officials are talking about it right now. I don't know, Mike. It looked like, because we've seen the Warriors not want to use the timeout. It was the right call with the amount of time. Well, let's watch it here. Now, the officials... Pajemski has it. Here come the screens. Curry comes free. Gets the ball, puts up a three-pointer. Bang! Steph Curry nails the three-pointer with seven tenths of a second remaining. More Curry chaos. His ninth three-pointer. He's got 30 points. And he just leans into Kevin Durant, knowing he wants to time a Draymond Green. Pass wasn't even great. I mean, the wherewithal to make the catch under this kind of a pass and be on balance. And oh, come on, Mike. The, the brilliance, the magnificence of Steph Curry once again on display. How about that pass? If it was not that far behind Curry, Beal had a chance to steal it. It was so close. So now with seven tenths of a second remaining, Phoenix, it's, it's pretty much catch and shoot. You Allen has it inside. Ball pumped away by Wiggins. It's over. Or did they call? They call the foul. But there's the no. Quickly into Jaron Jackson Jr. 
It's under 24 seconds. Here's Tillman all the way in the corner. Morant for three. No. Lakers are going to get it. Reeves. They've got a foul. Here's Schroeder. He's trying to dance around. They still I mean, <laughs> it. Seven. No, you just make him score. Well, Dennis knocked it away. Now it's to Brooks. Three-pointer on the way. No. Taken by Jackson. Just let him score now. now. It's Kennard. It doesn't matter. Way. He makes it. Doesn't make around for the post-game show tonight. It is inbounds to Brooks. And Wade up the line. His first free throws of the night. That makes it a three-possession game. And this for Miami, the largest lead of the night. Battier tips it out to Chalmers. Wade throws it up to James. The Spurs will not foul. Final seconds. What a finish. It's back-to-back titles for the Heat. The 2013 NBA Championship resides once again in Miami. Couldn't get Kyle Anderson to the table. Maxi drives and Philadelphia the lead, 121-19. 26.4 remaining in the first overtime. The Grizzlies take timeout. For Stephen Adams. Bain to trigger. About two and a half seconds, a different shot clock to game clock. Morant drives on Fiebel into a crowd. And a foul called on Philadelphia. They had one to give. It's a non-shooting foul. To inbound the ball. Morant against Fiebel, 10 to shoot. Ja, driving in the lane. Zaire Williams for three. No. Rebound. Thrown ahead to Maxi, And Philadelphia wins it. 